തൊടുർ ഓട്ടം റലൻലെസ് റൺ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദി ടൈറ്റിൽ വെരി ആക്ട്ലി ഗിവൺ ടു ദിസ് ഓട്ടോബയോഗ്രഫി ലൈഫ് ഈസ് എ റലൻലെസ് റൺ it is more so for those who join a working class party a communist party because they will have no time to stop this run to stop the relentless struggles organizational activities reading speaking so for a communist for a working class leader there are multifaceted activities expected of him or her so it's quite natural that todar wattam is the apt title that is being given to the autobiographical work of comrade T.K. Rengarajan. The speech that I need to customarily make after releasing a book, that responsibility has been substantially reduced by comrade A.K. Tatmanabhar, by the acceptance speech which he kindly made in advance because <coughs> due to the four condition in delhi and all that the second flight which i had to rebook that also got slightly delay that's why i appeared before you the in the attire of you know whole delhi there was no time to change it i straight away reached this venue from the airport i make two request to you which is a repetition part of it is a repetition that from the kp suggested that new generation especially should buy this book and go through it i would rather add this book needs to be studied i got only a summary of its english translation the comrade who made that summary would have done justice to his work still it is possible that there could be a summary would be only a summary it is not full my request is that this book needs to be translated into english too as fast as possible so that it can be translated into other languages other indian language for example malayalam kannada telugu and so why i say so by going through this summary i am able to understand that this is not a rich description of his personal experiences alone that is part of any autobiography but the times through which comrade tk r lived through struggled through that times also get reflected in this work which would be of immense use for society as a whole especially those who are wishing to change the injustices that exist in our society those who wish and hope to transform the existing society with very many inadequacies so we would be able to get new insights as to how we should organize various sections of people and how we should carry on the struggle to make our society more livable more meaningful with less injustices why do i say so there is one experience 
when community care started as a youthful apprentice in a Trichy establishment. He has the characteristic of very closely observing big and small developments and happenings, events around him. Without writing out, I would recall that in the party settlement committee, I have had many occasion of observing government care closely. He has studied a lot, he has immense experience, <coughs> but in a, any discussion, whether it is in a party congress or in a central committee meeting, government TKR sits like a student. Before narrating this Trichy experience, the veracity of my, you know, we were both the care of his close observation of everything. In Sanal Committee, these are all things. Actually, Sanal Committee, there are areas where we, we, we will not divulge what happened in Sanal Committee. We are not expected to say. But I feel that there are certain things which comrades should know about how Sanal Committee meets, how we discuss and decide. There are certain things which we can relate, and I think we should relate. For example, one meeting, a comrade from Kerala was explaining something about the economic situation. I mentioned the name, it's Thomas Isaac, finance minister, the two, two earlier governments, and a uh, renowned economist. So there is a time restriction, seven minutes, eight minutes like that. So he was explaining it in a flow and very informative things about Kerala experience. Then time was over. So, presiding officer, comrades, and that is your time. So, generally, it would be given in writing, the remaining points. Comrade TKR said, no, 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 these are all some very important things that we should also know. So, he may be given some more time to explain all that. Generally, presiding comrade won't oblige because time he has to keep. But when TKR made that demand, Presiding comrade said, yes, yes, Isaac, you may take a little more time to complete those points. So, this is how, this is a very, very important, you know, aspect we should understand. Here in Trichy, their labor unions are there, they give representations, and labor officer will forward it. So he discovered that this labor officer is using two different fountain pens with two different types of ink. In one fountain pen, it is blue ink. In another fountain pen, it is green ink. Whichever representation of a particular union which he favors, he will recommend it, same words, but using the green ink pen. The demands of the union which the labor officer is not in favor of consideration, he would use the pen with blue ink. So TKR confronted the labor officer. He asked, what is this? Don't think that you can be us. You are doing like this. No, it, it cannot be. So finally he had to learn. Similarly, when he made a visit to Czechoslovakia, Czech people are there in the United countries. Slovak people are also there. But now you know this is are separated. But the good old days, they were together. And within another three days, we are going to have, we are going to commence the death centenary of Vladimir Ilyich Ulyanov Lenin. There is a relevance about Lenin when we discuss this nationality question. Under his leadership, the nationality question was resolved in USSR 
and in other Eastern European countries also, the same approach of Lenin, that there should not be any great nationality dominance over smaller nationalities. All nationalities should be given equality. It is relevant in Indian context also. Very much. Now, very soon, there will be census, the new delimitation for parliament seats, and it is already reported that representation in Lok Sabha from South Indian states would be drastically reduced, and Lok Sabha membership of North Indian states would be enormously increased. This is going to be a big issue. We will have to address. These are all interrelated. Under Lenin, in 1922, when Soviet Union was formed, the concept was that the great Russian nationality domination should not be there. That was what is, was followed in Czechoslovakia and other places also. But long and short, this beautiful principle So, the great Western domination and a democratic approach in dealing with the nationality question that was followed in other countries of East Europe also at the beginning. But later on, there was deviations, even in Soviet Union. So, but TKR in his book makes a reference that when he was moving in Czechoslovakia, he was able to see that everything is not very, very fine in the relationship with Czech and Slavic people. This being a function as part of the Chennai Book Fair, I understand that there is another program to take place here. And we cannot make very lengthy speeches. I was also trying to find out how much time can be used. So, uh, I don't think when I restrict and reduce my speech, you are going to miss anything. You won't miss anything if you buy this book and read. I am only, only planning to speak something about this book. I have to mention one point, which is also important. The contributions. There are five sections. Now I jump to the last section. That is the contribution as a parliamentarian. There he was taking up the cost of the working class and toiling masses. Our TKR is an organic revolutionary and an organic community. He is able to creatively develop the, the Marxist theory in his practice. He maintains very good relationship with all parliamentarians belonging to this side and that side. But when the problems of working class and ordinary mass of people comes, he will not compromise. He will fight with anybody. That's the characteristic. Then, when this demonetization came, Committee KR was a member of a parliamentary committee, which examine Reserve Bank of Governor and all that. Our TKR raised very pertinent questions. But without giving any satisfactory or rational reply to that, the chairman of the committee wound up, concluded the meeting. This is symbolic of the way in which parliamentary democratic institutions are reduced into a farce in our country today. It is a very, very, very important aspect which we should carefully study because finally when parliament and judiciary and the media fail in their democratic responsibility, who is there to protect democracy and secularism? The good aspects of Indian constitution. We, the people of India, that is how the constitution begins. That has become very important. So this particular book is very, very valuable.
before our democratic struggles, Comrade TKR had the good fortune of rubbing shoulders with very stalwarts in Rajya Sabha. From the cultural field also, the most popular people like Daya Bachchan, Hero in Regha, they were their members when Comrade TKR was Rajya Sabha member. Now I would diverge that when earlier I became a Rajya Sabha member, I had also the opportunity to both Vajpayee and Adwani, important leaders of BJP, they were there, not only there, for Tamil Nadu there is an interest. Miss Jailalitha was a Rajya Sabha member when I happened to work in the Rajya Sabha. So, take care need not be so proud that you alone had opportunity to be with Devadali, Rekha and all that. Rajya Sabha is a very interesting place. Now it is being reduced to know what it is. Anyway, 12 years, Comrade TKR took up the cause of the people of our country. Uh, he had the courage and freedom to approach anybody with the problems of the people. Comrade P. Rajiv told me more about it because P. Rajiv from Kerala, the present industries minister, they were together. And I think Comrade Sidharam, Brinda, they were also there during the same time. So it was an illustrious you know, period which Comrade TKR spent uh, in the Rajya Sabha. This book we should buy, read and study. Translation, I think Comrade should uh, take over. Uh, Comrade TKR is only 82 years young. And I wish and hope that he would continue to serve the working class, the toiling masses, and the people in Tamil Nadu and outside with these few words. I am thankful to the organizers for having given me the undeserving responsibility of releasing this book. Thank you very much.